In this problem, you're supposed to take in the number of voters and their votes and the candidate they're going to run in this election. And it's pretty simple. The person who has the maximum number of votes, that person wins. And if there are multiple candidates that win this election, then we're supposed to print all such winners. Let's begin to write code for this. And we want to mash that like button. All right, so we are given two functions over here that we're supposed to write. One is vote and the other one is print winner. The first function which would happen is we are supposed to iterate over this array given to us called candidates. And we, we're supposed to increment the vote count for every single candidate whose name matches with the string name that's provided over here. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loop over all, all these names and I'm gonna figure out which name this corresponds to you know what i can also create a function to do that i can say int get index and i'm going to say what this function does is it will return minus one if i don't find anybody otherwise what's going to happen is i'm going to say i less than i'm going to find out the index of the name that is given to me over here so i'm going to say i'm going to iterate over this candidates array over here candidates so i'm going to say something like i equals zero i less than candidate underscore count i plus plus and then i'm going to say if it so happens that the name equal to the name the candidate the current name which is candidate candidates i dot name if this is the case it's the case that these two things are equal and how do i check equality in strings we use the stircom functions for that we do not use the equality operator common error in this kind of code so what we do is using the stircom function and stircom function is present in string.h library now we're going to check if they are equal or not and to check if they're equal or not we use to check if stircom returns zero or not because if it returns zero this means that the name this name provided to me by this parameter and the candidate the current candidate i'm looking at they are the same or not if they are the same i'm going to return the index that i'm looking for okay so what's happening here something like this i have my candidates array and let's say this these are the names of the candidates and these are the indices so and these are the votes they, Zero, 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 initially if, if i get something like i want the index of a then i do search to this array and figure out the index if i want c then i need to search this array and return two if i search b then i would return one that is the functionality of this function over here and i'm going to simply in my vote function i'm just going to call i'm going to call this function get index and i'm going to ask for the name and I'm going to store this index in this index variable. Let's call it something more descriptive. Called can let's call this candidate underscore index. Candidate underscore index is the index corresponding to the name. Okay. So I'm going to say once I've got this, I must check if candidate index if it's minus one, then I should return false. Okay. Otherwise, what should I do is if it's not minus one, I can do the following. I can return I, I I can return true but before doing that I must increment the vote count say or say candidate candidate I dot votes or candidates of candidate index dot votes you're gonna increment that okay essentially what's happening here is this was the case okay this was the case okay i'm gonna remove all that and i figured out that i need to in i've give i've been given candidate b as my parameter in this function now what i want to do is i want to search for this for this candidate in my candidate array figure out the index which is going to be one and then what i'm going to say is candidates Inside this candidates array, this is the candidates array. Inside this array, I need to figure out this index and to increment this by one. 
this is just doing that this line is doing exactly that after that i need to print the winner okay do that multiple ways of doing this we feel first of all you figure out the maximum number of words and there are multiple ways of writing this okay you can write a function over here or whatever finding the maximum int get max and let's take in you know you're going to find the maximum of all these things taking nothing and i'm going to figure out the maximum number of words i'm going to say max words i'm going to start off the first candidate and it's zeros words i'm going to assume that zeroth candidate words is the first is the maximum words because that's what i've looked at till now so what i'm doing here is i'm starting off with this guy with this guy i'm starting off with this guy and you know the words can be like three or five whatever one over here these are the number of words so i'm going to start off with one i'm going to search till i find a larger number i'm going to iterate iterate from i equals one all the way to candidate count i plus plus and then i'm going to say if it so happens that candidate current candidate i'm looking at candidate dot votes greater than maximum number of votes okay that i currently have found so far so i'm looking at all these elements right i'm iterating over this just to look at all these elements let's say this is five and this is, this is three this is five looking at all these i've started with this guy Till now, what I found is the maximum votes variable is going to store zero. After I move on to here, I have to search and figure out if I figure uh, that this current candidate's votes, if that's greater than the maximum votes so far, I should update this value to three. Then I move on over here. I find that this is greater, then I should update again. And if it's not greater, let's say this. Then if I move on over here, if my index is four, it's three, then I figure out that this vote is not greater than this vote, maximum vote so far. So I just do nothing. So that's what's happening over here. If the max the current candidates votes, if that's greater than the maximum vote so far, I'm gonna update the maximum votes so far to be candidate, highest candidates votes, number of votes. I'm going to return the maximum number of words I found. And after I've searched through the entire array, I must have maximum number of words. So here I'm going to do this. I'm going to get call the get max function. I'm going to find the get max function, and I'm going to find the maximum number of words. Okay. After doing this, what what needs to be done now is I need to iterate over this array once more. Start from zero all the way to candidate count i plus plus then i want to check here i need to check if the current candidate you're looking at which is the candidate of i dot votes i'm going to look at the current candidates votes and if that's equal to maximum votes that we've got then we can print that candidate percent s backslash n comma candidates i dot name or having done that this return function which is not necessary at all and i'm just going to try to make something let's make plurality let's make plurality dot slash plurality need to come do this dot slash plurality instead of alice bob and charlie i'm going to say a b and c four number voters a vote for b or c and again for a figure out the winner In this case is going to be a i should try more and more examples you can share i should try all these examples i'm just going to just skip ahead and check run check 50 on this while this is running we just go over the code one more time 
just to be sure yeah, but it's just clear on this first of all what i'm doing is in the word function i'm figuring out the maximum i'm figuring out the index of the name it's given to me so the corresponding index i figured out the figure out the index okay corresponding to the name that's given okay doing that i need to increment the vote count okay increment the vote of that candidate and then print winner what i'm doing is figuring out the maximum key figuring out the maximum number of votes maximum number of votes and then i'm just printing the name of those candidates which have maximum candidates who got maximum number that's pretty much it maximum is just you start off with the first guy and then you the remaining guys and then figure out the maximum the current guy is more than the maximum votes and that's the maximum votes that you figured out so far and at the end of the day you can return the maximum number of votes pretty much it see logic with get index but you know, what's happening is you're comparing third com function which is provided in the string function string library so that's pretty much it like share and subscribe